Welcome back, Leopard fans. Here we are again, uh, the, some additional signees to that class of 2025. Just an exciting class. These four extra players here will take it up to a class of 25, and I'm sure Coach Garrett, who we have on the line here, the head football coach of Lafayette College, John Garrett. John, tell me a little bit about obviously adding even more players to a fantastic class of 2025. Well, now's the time that we can add some depth after the 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 signing days. And this is an opportunity for us to do so. And we've been able to add four student athletes that we're really pleased to have on the team. Um, some defensive players and, and offensive players and a specialist. Uh, so uh, excited to have them part of our Lafayette football thing. Well, it really seems like when you look at the positions of just these four players, I mean, it really seems to round out the class, round out some positions and really add that depth. And, you know, as I go through and I've watched these kids on huddle and I've seen their, uh, uh, their accolades and looked at a little bit of their resume. I mean, these are terrific players. They obviously are, are kids that you were hunting uh, all through the year. They're fantastic players. They're fantastic students. And they're going to add not only depth, but, you know, even at the kicker position, we're going to see a kicker today. Uh, and with Jeff Cordenbrock and the great career that he's had, obviously going to be a senior um, really is going to add some depth right there. So uh, uh, an additional uh, uh, four kids here. Um, Let's get into it, Coach. Everybody's excited to see what we're adding here and who we're going to uh, take a look at. So uh, we'll have them in the studio kind of roll tape on a Gabe Decker. Gabe Decker is a 6'1", 215-pound fullback out of Culpeper, Virginia, St. Anne's Belfield School. Uh, a big kid, an athletic kid. From what I saw on film, Coach, he can do a lot of the things that you're going to ask of that fullback slash H position that really comes in handy, not only short yardage, goal line, but uh, a kid that can play upfield as well. Well, he's a, he's a versatile guy from a really good school. Uh, the school is right next to UVA. I'm familiar with it from my time coaching at UVA. And he, he plays both sides of the ball. He plays fullback and linebacker. He's going to play on special teams. He's smart. Uh, he's tough. Uh, he wants to be an engineer. Uh, so, you know, Lafayette was a great fit for him. And uh, we, we, we like to have the versatility on offense to be able to play a fullback uh, just to give the defense a little bit more to, to worry about uh, and concentrate on. And uh, as you can see, he catches the ball, he runs the ball. Uh, you'll see him also uh, make tackles on defense and he's certainly gonna be a contributor on special teams. So, so we're, we're glad to add a, a versatile, tough, smart football player to our roster. Well, you said it right there. And the thing I, I noticed about Gabe is, is a lot of his highlights aren't just him blocking or lining up, you know, on the edge in a wing position or making tackles. They're catching the ball out of the backfield. So that's that, that's that versatility I think you're talking about. Even if you went to a four wide set and, and you had just him in the backfield, he's a guy that can you can use in protection. And he's a guy that can slip out of the backfield. You can use his check downs. He does a nice job getting his head around. You always look for that versatility and that uh, flexibility in the upper body to get his head around. He does that well. And he catches the ball with ease in the open field. And the fact that he wants to be an engineer, I think he's got the right school. So uh, good get right there. Gabe Decker out of Culpeper, Virginia. And like you said, right down out of Charlottesville, down in that area, um, you know, he got a lot of looks and we're happy to have him. So let's move on now to Hudson Harper. Hudson Harper is a six foot four, 305 pound offensive lineman at a Dunkirk, Maryland, Northern High School. Again, this is a massive human being. Uh, he was first team all selection, an honor roll student, uh, you know, member of the, the choir. I mean, this kid kind of checks all the boxes for you. What did you like about Hudson Harper? Well, first of all, Hudson loves football and he's, he's a, a renaissance man. He does a lot of things <laughs> outside of athletics too to contribute to his high school community, which he'll continue in our community. Uh, he has versatility. Uh, as you can see, he's a, a really good competitor. He's strong. He loves the weight room. Uh, he's, he certainly has the body to play and he's going to challenge early because of his love for football, his, his desire to be prepared and ready. Um, physically, he's got the body to compete as a, as a young player. Uh, and when you can add depth at this stage to the offensive line group, it's always a plus. We're really glad to have him. He comes from a military family, so mm -hmm. disciplined um, and uh, very committed, and we're excited to have him part of our team. Yeah, his parents look like they uh, obviously were a U.S. Coast Guard Academy. He had an uncle that played at Kansas, an aunt that played at Kansas for the Jayhawks as well. Um, I love his flexibility. When he gets in his stance and he can actually put his heel on the ground 
that to me, you know, and it's not just, you know, up on the toes, the heels on the ground, good flexibility, good Z in the knee. Coach, that makes six offensive linemen for you. I wish we had a JV team. We could go around and put all these six guys up on the offensive line. Um, but uh, he, he looks like a real good one. And like you said, he, he checks all the boxes along with that. He's looking to major maybe in government and law coming to Lafayette, another unbelievable choice, government and law. So Hudson Harper is going to really round out that offensive line room, especially from a freshman standpoint. And uh, you can never have too many guys of his size that can move like he can. So that's a really good get as well. Let's move on to a, a kicker slash punter coach. And this is a situation we haven't talked about a lot, but obviously with the graduation uh, of next year of, of Corden Brock, who's done so many good things, Micah Petit, 6'1", 180 pounds out of Bountiful, Utah. Tell me a little bit. I went to Utah and found this kid bountiful high school. He's an all state, all region selection, and he's got a powerful leg. Well, he's a versatile kid too. And Micah comes from a really good family, uh, bountiful Utah. It's, it sounds like a a Shangri-La, doesn't it? Uh, (laughs) So he, uh, uh, he's a versatile kid that showed the ability to both punt, uh, and kick and kick off. And, uh, he'll be part of the competition with the departure of, of Jeff Corden Brock. You know, we have him and, and uh, Jacob Trestick on the team, and uh, he's got a chance to, to compete and be the guy uh, right here in his first year. So uh, he's, he's a smart young man, um, and, you know, he, he's looking for a school that had a great combination of athletics uh, and academics, and uh, uh, we were able to find him due to the great work to, from our special team coach, Greg Franz, and establish that relationship with him uh told him about all the virtues of Lafayette College and uh uh he wanted a place with great academics and athletics and uh turned out to be a great fit for him so we're pleased to have him part of our team and uh looking forward to him competing for uh the specialist spots uh come this fall yeah and and when I read his bio I see that he was a four-year starter on the soccer team so obviously he's got athletic ability he can kick the football you know in today's game, the guy that kicks your extra points and field goals isn't always the guy who kicks off for you. So, you know, I saw there a 73 yard kickoff from the 40 yard line out of the back of the end zone. Those guys are, I mean, when you can start the defense inside the 25 yard line or in the offense inside the 25 yard line, that's huge. You see it all the time in the NFL, you know, the longer a team has to go to score, get into field position to put points on the board is huge. And, and a guy like Micah can do that. And uh, it's exciting that Lafayette, carries that prowess all the way out into obviously mountain country um and and you get more and more kids from out there so it's really exciting to see him he's got a great background played goalkeeper as well played center back so he's not just a goalie not just a kicker he's athletic and he mixed that in with football which are at the same time so you know he knows how to balance his time so uh that's a really good get and i was looking you know when i first saw the list that we did a couple weeks ago i said well we need a kicker we need a guy that's going to come in there and obviously you guys had your eye on on Micah, and that's a great get for him. So let's move on to the last one here, Gavin Shields. Now, Gavin, exciting player, six foot three, 195 pounds out of Pittman, New Jersey, but he played football for Le- uh, excuse me, Red Lion Christian Academy in Delaware, um, a two time all conference selection. He's going to play a position. I think he's going to step right into it and be athletic and, and do all the things that guys you have there now can do. Um, but he can run and he can hit, and, I, and he plays quarterback on offense, so a great athlete. Yeah, again, the, the versatility is uh, a real plus and attraction for him. Uh, he, he plays a variety of defensive positions. He plays an outside linebacker position. You see him at safety. Um, he handles the ball as a quarterback on offense. Just a lot of instincts, uh, a lot of anticipation wherever he's playing, production on both sides of the ball. And again, the versatility is the highlight. So we, we just love this competitiveness loved his aggressiveness, uh, loved his awareness, and, and also his versatility. So he's, he's going he's gonna to find a spot uh, to play, uh, and it's going to be that outside linebacker bandit position that we call it, and he's an ideal special teams player as well. So we, we hope that he can be a, a four-core special teamer for us as well as uh, getting his contributions on defense. So we're glad to have Gavin with us. Yeah, I mean, right now I see him running down the field on kickoff right now and, and covering punts. A guy that could do that, maybe even play a gunner for you. He's got that mm-hmm. kind of speed. I love the way he diagnoses. He gets downhill. He's decisive. He comes up with, makes tackles. 
Uh, and he's a big kid. You look at the size, 6'3", 195 pounds. He's not done growing yet. He could be 220 pounds playing that position. Um, and, and he's got everything you look at. He's got the, quarter, the, the mental from the quarterback position. On the other side, he's got the safety. You're going to move him down into a position where he's probably going to be faster than most of the guys at that second level. So he's going to stand out from that point of view. And, uh, you know, Gavin Shields is a kid that uh, he's got everything lined up for him to contribute right away. Uh, and he comes from a good program. Um, he's got 12 varsity letters, coach, 12 varsity letters I'm reading right here. And he wants to, to uh, major in economics. So four incredible kids you added right there, coach. I mean, these are these are kids that are going to contribute. That brings your list up to 25. How do you feel about 25? Is that kind of the target you were looking at coming from the beginning? Well, obviously, Mike, it changes each year, but that's that's uh, pretty much what we what we go by somewhere in the in the low to mid twenties, uh, based upon uh, how many we we lose to graduation. Uh, uh, but uh, we we were comfortable with this number, uh, and uh, uh, still waiting on still waiting on a couple of. Them. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. So. Uh, but uh, we're really excited to add these four young men, and uh, they sort of they sort of cap off the class in a lot of yes. ways with their with their versatility, their competitiveness, their bunch of the right kind of guys, and and also provide some geographical diversity, which uh, yeah. uh, is as you can see all through the class as well. Yeah, absolutely. Those areas in the Mid Atlantic have been very good for you, and obviously reaching out towards Utah and stuff and. Uh, uh, for a kicker, uh, those those things, like you said, all I can think of it is the way it rounds out the class. So it's an exciting group of kids. The kids we looked at just previously a few weeks ago, adding these four guys in um, has, has just, like I said, taken this class to another level and they should be excited. You guys should be excited and uh, excited to get on the field very soon here uh, as soon as this snow clears. So thank you so much for a couple more minutes. We really appreciate it. Um, this is uh, a, 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 a Thing you can see on goleopards.com so make sure you go check it out check out the comments by uh by coach garrett and myself and you can see these players for real up close not just the four we showed today but the 21 previous that round out this class so coach thanks again for a couple minutes back to work right that's it thank you mike appreciate your encouragement and support go leopards no problem thanks again for being with us go to goleopards.com to check everything out and we'll see you soon on the field thank you